Hello friends, welcome. Today in this class, we will talk about the methods of calculating national income. National, is, national income can be calculated on various bases. Okay? But there are mainly three methods of calculating national income. We are focusing on the calculation of the national income through the product method, income method or the, and the expenditure method. So let's start with it. Here when we are estimating the national income, okay, we are by the definition according to the aid, we are counting all goods and services okay. Here we are talking, uh, we are considering all goods and services which are produced in a country okay, and that are exchanged against money and this process is in a year. Okay, so whatever goods and services produced in a country in a year is taken into consideration while calculating the national income. Okay, so here whatever goods and services produced, okay, goods and services produced that are either consumed or it may be saving. Okay, so both can be happen and according to this basis on this we, uh, we have the three methods of calculating national income that is the first one is the product method okay the second one is the income method and the third one is the expenditure method okay we will talk about these three one by one in detail so let's start with, with the first method that is the product method or the output method. It is also known as the output method. Here in the product method we are focusing on the production of output okay, in a year. Whatever the production, whatever the output is produced in a year is taken into consideration in this method. Okay. So in the while calculating the national income, okay, firstly we are taken into account the gross value of all goods and services. Produced in a domestic area, okay, that is the produced within a country, within a domestic area, okay. Here, uh, when we are producing the goods and services, it uh, well, we are taking the value of goods and services. It is the inclusive of the capital goods. And as and when we are using the capital goods, it has a wear and tear effect and therefore we need to deduct depreciation from it. Okay? So depreciation is deducted from the value of goods and services. Okay? Then uh, we are not considering the value of good, do not uh, inclusive of the subsidy and therefore we have to add subsidy to it okay and the, the same way we have to deduct the indirect taxes from it okay so this uh, indirect taxes is deducted from the value of goods and services now the we have the net export. Here net export is the difference between the total export and the total imports. Okay. 
So we are adding the net export into the value of goods and services okay, for the calculation of the national income. Then we have the net factor income from the abroad. So whatever income is earned from the abroad, that is the net factor income earned from the uh, abroad is also added in the national income. Okay. Th this is the receipt minus payment. Okay. So when we are adding this all and deducting the appreciation and indirect taxes, we are getting the national income. Here, when we are considering the value of goods and services, it is of the final goods. The value of the final goods is taken into consideration. It is to avoid the double counting. Okay. So now, we have the formula of calculating the national income through the product method. Your Y is for the national income, the goods, value of all the goods and services we are deducting the appreciation from it okay then we are adding subsidy and deducting indirect taxes from it and then we are adding the net import that is export minus import okay and the net income factor from the abroad that is the receipt minus payment so when we do this Calculation, we are getting the national income through the product or the output method. Okay. This method is mainly used in the underdeveloped countries. It is less reliable because the margin of error in these is very high. So this is about the product method. Now let's talk about the income method. Here in the income method, the more emphasis that is in uh, calculation of the national income. In these we have the income from all the factors of production. is added together when the income from all the factors of production is added together we are getting the national income through the income method here the main emphasis is given on the income of all the people <laughs> here factors of production is given more important we have the four factors of production that is the land labor Capital and entrepreneurs. Okay, so uh, to land we are paying rent, uh, land like the agricultural land or the building, etc. To the labor we are paying the wages and salary. Okay, capital interest is paid and entrepreneurs earn profit. Okay, so this is these all are the ways of getting income from all the factors of production. Okay, uh, then uh, we have the net exports. Okay, and we have the net factor income from the abroad. So when we add all this together, we are getting the national income through the income method. The formula for the same is Y is equal to the wages and salaries plus interest plus rent plus profit and is equal to the profit. Okay. Then we are adding the net export that is export minus import okay and then we have the receipt minus total receipt minus payment that is a net factor income from the abroad and we are getting the national income 
through income method. Okay. Here the data of this, okay, uh, the income data is compiled from the books of account or through the reports or through the published data. So income of all the people is taken from these all the resources. Okay. This method is very less useful in India because the practice of uh, making the books of account and books of account by the individual is very less. Uh, most of the people do not keep the books of account and therefore it will become difficult, it become tough uh, to get the exact income of the individual and therefore it is not very much useful in India. Okay. So this is all about the income method. Now move on to the expenditure method. Okay. Here, as the name it suggests, the value of all goods and services consumed. Okay, value of all goods and services consumed and the total investment. Both of these is mainly concerned while calculating the national income through the expenditure method. Here, whatever expenses is made by the individual is taken into consideration. Either the individual consume the good and make the expenses or they save the amount. Okay. So, here in, uh, in this, the value of all goods and services consumed and the investment that is the total investment is taken into the consideration. When we are estimating the estimating through the expenditure method, okay, goods and services, it may be through the public, uh, the goods and services may be uh, from the public sector or from the private expenditure is taken into consideration. An investment may be in the fixed capital or it may be of stocks. Both of these is added in together in, the, in this method. So we have the national income from the expenditure method is the consumption plus investment plus government purchases. Okay plus net export plus net income from the abroad that is the total receipt minus total payment to the foreign countries. Okay. When we are doing this action we are getting the national income through expenditure method. Okay. So this is about the methods of calculating uh, the calculation of the national income